Welcome back to another episode of Taking Your Job Search Online. Today, we're going to be talking a little bit about the things we need to know working in Canada. Doesn't matter if you're working by yourself from your bedroom or you're in an office, a factory, or an environment surrounded by lots of different people every day. There are some things that a lot of us should know, and some of us know instinctively, and others takes us a little moment to figure out how things might work. Next, let's talk a little bit about a positive attitude in the workplace. This can mean different things for different people. And though not everybody is a morning person, it's always nice as you're coming into work to greet everyone, say good morning, ask about maybe their evening or their weekend if you're coming in on a Monday. Personal preferences aside, it's really nice and important to connect with your coworkers, especially if you're gonna be spending a lot of time together. One of the other things that you can do to make sure that energy exchange is consistent is to respond to emails, phone calls, voicemails, text messages in a timely manner. It's really difficult sometimes to keep track of all of the different electronic platforms that we're using. You might have several email accounts. You might be using Microsoft Teams, ClickUp. Slack, Monday, a number of these different uh, online platforms, and those that are specific to your organization as well. But you know those all staff emails that might come from upper management? Send a response back acknowledging that you did receive the email. Maybe ask a follow-up question or just send a quick thanks. Making sure that you're engaging with some of those automatic things or some of those messages that are coming out from the management team, make sure that they know you're engaged with the position and the information that you're receiving. One of the other things that we might want to talk about is around mindfulness in the workplace. This is just being mindful and open to the experiences, beliefs, needs, and accommodations of not just yourself, but of your coworkers. You might have noticed in Canadian workplaces, we often don't bring in peanuts or other nuts just because of severe allergies. One of the things we might do too is if we're placing an order for um, a food spread for staff is that we might ask if there are any dietary restrictions. Mindfulness also comes into play when we're being accepting of other people's uh, opinions, beliefs, culture, backgrounds, and practices in the workplace. The other thing that we might want to be mindful of are people's time and people's feelings. So making sure that we are on time as much as possible, that we are responding directly to somebody. We're using active listening skills to be able to communicate that we really and truly hear our coworkers and we're responding in a way that is valuable and honest. Last but not least, when it comes to mindfulness, making sure that there are ways of communication open on both sides. If you have something that's going on in your personal life and it's affecting the way that you're working, be mindful of the fact that other people might take notice and that's okay to communicate that you are in the middle of reprioritizing, shifting, or that your needs personally are changing. We as people know how difficult, especially this COVID-19 pandemic has been, and we cannot expect that it affects everyone the exact same way. So being mindful that people may have additional responsibilities at home, whether that be taking care of a family member, trying to teach your kids online, we know that that may be challenging, uh, and just managing your work schedule and things as they're changing. Or if you're you know, preparing and have been working or a family member is working on the front lines and we're worried a little bit more than usual. There are plenty of things for us to be mindful of and a lot of different things that may affect uh, Canadian workplace culture, which change on the daily, sometimes weekly and yearly basis. So for more tips on Canadian workplace culture and what you might wanna know, please be sure to visit workforcewindsoressex.com. Thank you. And I'll see you next time on an episode of Taking Your Job Search Online.